Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video series, I will teach you the Microsoft Office Excel 2016 from basics to advanced level. This is a part one. This video series contains a very large video. I divided into several parts. Let's start the part one, the basic level. Let's open the Excel 2016. Start all programs. Excel 2016. This is the default look when you open the Excel and this default look contains different kinds of templates. It's a ready-made templates which you can use according to your requirements. Suppose if you need the email insights you can use if you want to use a calendar, the student calendar, stock analysis like that. These are the ready-made templates available for free about these default templates we will discuss in my future videos. Right now it's a basic level. Let's go to the blank workbook. Double click on it. When you open the Excel sheets, which contains the columns and rows, the column represents as alphabets, whereas the rows represents numerics. And each cell contains a unique address. Suppose if I click this cell, see this is the C3 cell. See the column. And three is the row. When you open the Excel, the default look is the home tab. At the top, you can see it's a title. Book one is a title. When you save any file, the file name will be appear on this top. This is a title. And file, home, insert, page layout, formulas, data, review, view. These are the menu sections. This home tab contains different sections, and these sections called as a ribbon. And this is called the ribbon. If you insert, different ribbon will be available. So let's start the basic home. In this part one, we will learn the home tab ribbon, clipboard, font, alignment, number, styles, cells, editing. Okay, now in C3 cell, can I type four, five, six? In the E section, A, B, C. If you notice the C3 cell, the numeric values position at the right side, whereas the characters positions at the left side. If you want the position ABC characters to the right side, click this. If you want middle, click the middle. These are the alignment section. If you want orientation, you can choose this thing. So these are the alignment. Suppose if you type long characters D E F G H I J K L, okay, notice here the characters is overlaying on the next cell. If you want to wrap this text, wrap text cell values. You can alignment the cell values in the with the alignment section. Let's delete this thing. Now the second example, I want to display 1 to 10 numbers as a column wise. You just type 1 here and 2. Highlight this 2 1. Notice the mouse symbol plus in a white. When I mouse hover to the D2 cell, it becomes black. Now grab up to 10. How many you require just grab up to up to that level. Leave it. It will display. Similarly, you can grab to the row wise also. But you need to type 2 here. If you don't type 2, if you don't type 2 here, it will copy only once. You notice here? Once. So if you need the sequence 1 2 3 4 you have to type 2 copy D and E cells also and grab how much numbers you require similarly if you want the even numbers 4 this is the even numbers and if you want to get the odd numbers, type 5. 
highlight this grab up to the bottom now if you want the weekdays suppose Sunday copy it and grab to the bottom if you want the months Jan now I'll check the font category so you can choose the font styles here if you want the color extra color and you can size the font size also you can see the previews after font we'll check the number category here one two three four five six by default the number category is general suppose if I choose a number it will display the digits 0 0.00 if you want in currency you can use the dollar you can change the currency if you want to change the Indian currency numbers more accounting formats you can choose a Hindi okay the Indian rupee symbol if you want the accounting now the percentage if you want in percentage you can use the percentages fraction scientific and the next one is the dates short date here it's showing the default date the default date is 11900 here you can check 1190 it starts the date starts from 11900 it's a default date for example here I enter the number 32 when I want to convert this number into date format short date 2 is the month 1 is the day and 1900 is the year so when I ent it counted the 30 days and showed the result after 30 days the date will be shown here is an other example here is another example I give I'm giving 15 I want to convert this number into date short date see the month first month 15th day 1900 yeah short date first month third date 1900 first month fifth date 1900 now we'll check the long date long date Tuesday January 3rd 1900 and we have a more number formats which we'll discuss in advanced level now we'll discuss about the styles let me delete this all for this example I'm choosing the random numbers ran between 1 15 when I enter and the C5 cell it's showing the random number so drag up to here now here in the selected rows showing some data with random numbers so go to styles conditional formatting click highlight cell rules greater than here in the random numbers from the selected cells I want to find the greater number greater than 30 it shows in a red color so 32 is greater than 30 36 33 44 40 these all numbers are showing with green colors you can format with the yellow red okay now if you want to highlight the cells those are less than for example I'm giving the 15 now here the condition is the highlighted cells show the numbers which are less than 15 in green color okay so 1, 5, 7, 4, 10, 13, 
cells are showing in green color these are all less than 15 now in the conditional format other thing the other one is a between now here I'm giving the condition between 9 and 15 shows in a yellow color so 9 is yellow 9 10 13 so these are the between 9 and 15 cells here is showing in the random numbers okay clear these all cells clear rules now in the conditional format we will check the duplicate values duplicate values so 45 here 45 here 32 okay now clear the cell rules conditional clear rules now in the selected cells let's check the other one is top bottom rules I want to check the top 10 items from this selected cells okay so 45 40 42 44 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 now in the conditional format top to bottom rows if any percentages in this selected cells you can select now we'll check the bottom 10 items now I'm giving the condition items I want to check the cells those are bottom 3 It shows in a yellow color. Okay. So 1, 1, 4, 4. Now in the conditional formats, we can check the data bars. The greater bars is the bars will show the cell value is higher, the bars will be long. If the cell value is least, the bars will be small. Here are the colors. For example, I'm showing I'm checking the solid fill green color. 43 is the highest value so the bar is too long if you check the one it's very small if the value is high the bars will be long if the value is low in a cells the bar will be small let's clear these all rules format as a table you can format as a table okay see here the format the table one in a green color you can choose the colors format the colors I'm choosing this thing now for the cells for individual cells I'm choosing these two cells warning text check cell input currency heading title so I chosen the title it will show it if you want to select if you want to format the individual cells choose the cell styles if you want to format the whole table choose the format as table that's it in this video if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my next video in part 2